All right, I'm back. This is the end. <clears throat> I just finished Metal Gear, the first one. And, um, so now I'm going to start on the second one. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat uh, needs to be cleared a bit there. So, a uh, little information here for the intro. Um, the game was released July 19th, uh, July 19th 1990 for the MSX2. And uh, we didn't uh, we didn't get a copy here until uh, the PS2 for in the Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence pack, and that's the one I'm going to be playing. Um, before this, they had it on translated on emulator, and uh, I played it on that. And it was a pain in the ass because they use a password system, and that uh, had like 24 letters, so. And the L's and I's looked identical, and they had zeros and O's that looked the same. Um, alright, so let's get a little, uh, intro going here. So yeah, they got a little neat outline of the new Metal Gear, Metal Gear D. Neat little intro for its time. This game is very much based on 80s action. Um, much of the MX2 character designs were based off of uh, based off action stars such as Solid Snake being based off of Mel Gibson. Uh, there's a lot of other, uh... Now with the, uh, PS2 version, they obviously updated the character designs to match more with the Solid series. Now Hideo Kojima actually took part in designing this game unlike the first one, but... Yeah, unlike the first one, Hideo Kojima did not actually take part in the game, he just came up with the scenario and everything. Neat little fact how it shows the missile loading and the holes in the front, pretty cool. This is the intro. I think it's pretty good. I, I, I'm kind of finding my mic a little loud, so... Sorry if it comes out a bit loud. So yeah, there you go. There's all the uh, pieces of Metal Gear D. The one you're gonna fight. Uh, There's two intros here. The first one's just a little bit, uh, a little bit of graphical display. All right. It was in the late 1990s. The world is embarked on an age of peace and stability. Relations between the Cold War superpowers have thawed. Religion, regional conflicts are being resolved. The threat of nuclear war is now a thing of the past. But there are some who do not desire peace.
An atmosphere fear of tension begins to build in the Middle East. A military ju junta comes to power in Zanzibar land, a small nation bordering the USSR, China, and the Middle East. Zanzibar land attacked nuclear weapon disposal sites around the world, seizing those weapons that are still intact, and becomes the world and only nuclear power. They begin to invade its neighbors at will. After renouncing nukes forever, the world is once again threatened by the specter of nuclear war. Meanwhile, the world's oil supply, which was to last another 30 years, suddenly and unexpectedly dried up. Without a safe alternative source of energy, the world faces a severe energy crisis. It is in these dire circumstances that Dr. Keo Marv, a Czech Biologist, biologist, biologist develops Oilex, a microorganism that can synthesize high-grade petroleum. I'm not good with big words. With this discovery, global tensions are once again on the rise. On his way to attain an American scientific conference, Dr. Marv is uh, kidnapped by agents of Zaman to the bar line. Yeah, I get tongue-tied very easily, sorry folks. Especially if I have to read fast. With its nuclear weapons and the secret of Olix, Oilix, Zanzibar land plans to achieve global military de do oh, domination. I am really sorry folks, I am really brutalizing this. Tiny microbe, only a few microns wide, is about to change the world forever. I'm not used to reading out loud so many lines, like, you know, one or two lines is good for me. Alright, so, there's all our intro, and, um, so if you don't really feel like watching, you can just kind of skip this part, obviously, but, uh, temporary go to load here. Yeah, so, sorry about screwing up the intro there for folks. Uh, hopefully this mic will turn out because it sounded a bit loud and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in a moment.